Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And tomorrow, the Houston Texans play the Indianapolis Colts in Houston, Texas. And it's going to be fun to watch this home opener tomorrow. Uh, there is a chance that this home opener, which we've been waiting for, I, I mean, I don't know how about other Texans fans feel, but I've been waiting for this home opener for a while. And I got to be honest, if Stroud ends up not playing tomorrow, I'm very glad I didn't buy tickets. Um,. I mean, tickets, and I'll tell you why I didn't buy tickets for tomorrow's game. I felt like they were a little too expensive, especially to watch the Texans and Colts. I mean, two of the worst. I mean, I think the Texans are going to be very underrated this year, and they're going to be, they're going to shock a lot of people. But to watch two teams that are not, you know, two of the best teams in the league, and it would have been, it would have been great for the home opener, and, you know, seeing Stroud and, you know, Will Anderson Jr. and D'Amico Ryans in the home opener, but... I just felt like tickets were a little too expensive. They're they're selling fast, and not only that, but I mean, there weren't good seats. I like whenever I like to go to a game, I like to go uh, sit in good seats. But um, another thing was is that I wanted to be able to watch some of the other games. One thing I one thing I hate about going to games is that when you when you you know when you're at the game, you have no idea what's going on with other games. And another thing is if a player gets hurt. You don't get injury updates like you do, whether if you're watching the game at home. I will go to a couple of Texans games this year. I'm eyeing a couple of games. I'm eyeing that Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. Uh, there's a couple other home games. I'm, I I'm also want to go to that Tennessee Titans game where the Titans are coming in disrespectful wearing the Oilers jersey. So those are a couple of games I want to go to this season. Um, but if C.J. Stroud doesn't play tomorrow, I'm glad I didn't buy tickets. But C.J. Stroud is questionable tomorrow against the Indianapolis Colts with a shoulder injury. Texans have a couple major injuries in this in this ball game. Here are the players that are out: Jimmy Ward and Jalen Petrie, the two starting safeties. Uh, Jimmy Ward didn't play Week One, but he's out again with a hip injury, and Jalen Petrie is out with a chest injury. Um, and while C.J. Stroud, rookie quarterback, is questionable with a shoulder injury, Lermy Tunsil it has a knee injury. He's questionable for the Colts game right there. If Lermy Tunsil does not play this ball game, I really don't know if I want CJ Stroud to play. Um, like I said, I love, I want CJ Stroud to be out there, but if he, if he's not a hundred percent and look how bad the offensive line was last week. I mean, let's just be realistic. The offensive line was terrible last week. And if the offensive line loses their best offensive lineman in Lermy Tunsil, yes, say what you want about Lermy Tunsil. He does get a lot of holding calls. A lot of false start calls, but he is the best left tackle in football. And if the Houston Texans lose him tomorrow, I don't. I would be very worried about C.J. Stroud. I mean, look what the Ravens did uh, to C.J. Stroud last week. They brought a lot of pressure. I think they, yeah, they sacked him five times. It was lots of pressure to C.J. Stroud last week. Now the Ravens have a way better defense than the Colts, but it would be it would be you know probably the same thing if Lermy Tunsil's out. I don't think Lermy Tunsil will... Um, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell everybody this, I'll tell, and I, this is a guarantee. If C.J. Stroud is playing in tomorrow's football game, so is Lermy Tunsil. Houston Texans are not letting C.J. Stroud go out there in uniform and as the starting quarterback tomorrow if Lermy Tunsil is not available, especially if that shoulder is not 100%. But getting into some of the other injuries, wide receiver Noah Brown is out with a groin injury. He's on IR. Noah Brown was a wide receiver that C.J. Stroud liked throwing the ball to um, in week one. I think he had a little bit over 30 receiving yards. Uh, but thing is, is C.J. Stroud or whoever the quarterback is, whether it's C.J. Stroud or Davis Mills, uh, the Texans might be losing out Noah Brown, but John Mechie is available tomorrow, and he was not. Another player that was uh, not available week one against the Baltimore Ravens and is available tomorrow and is a starter on the defense, is linebacker Blake Cashman. Speaking of linebackers, Novelli Hewitt is questionable. He's a linebacker. He has an illness. I uh, don't know what he's sick with. And then Hassan Ridgeway, defensive tackle, who went to Texas. He has a calf injury, and he is on IR reserved. Um, you have players that are already on the IR. Cameron Johnston on IR, the punter. He has a calf injury as well. Do Scruggs, rookie center, on IR with a hamstring injury. Titus Howard, hand injury, offensive tackle, IR. Kenyon Green, out for the season with a shoulder li libram. Um, and that's it for the injuries tomorrow. And I'm sure we'll we'll see some healthy in inactives tomorrow. 
uh, eventually, um, you know, before the game, but we don't know what those will be right now. And, I, and getting into, you know, my predictions and what I think this game will look like, um, I think the Texans are going to still win this game. And I'll tell you what, the Texans will win this game if CJ Stroud plays. And I'll tell you this too. If the Houston Texans do not have CJ Stroud tomorrow and Davis Mills starts, I still think there's a chance the Texans win this ball game. Uh, the Texans have a good defense to back them up in this game. Uh, Will Anderson Jr., Derek Stingley Jr., and you know a lot of other you know a lot of and a lot of other good pieces to this defense. Yes, I know Jimmy Ward and Jalen Petrie are out, but this defense is solid, and this defense showed a lot of good things. Even though they were without Jalen Petrie and Jimmy Ward most of the game last week. Week one, I mean, against the Ravens, Jalen Petrie got hurt in the first quarter with that chest injury, had to go to the hospital. Jimmy Ward was out in the first place. So this defense looked good last week, and you know, those safeties were not playing most of the game. Now they get back Blake Cashman. I know they lose that on Hassan Ridgeway, though. But I don't think this defense will be really good this week, playing a you know, an offense that is definitely you know an offense like the the Colts, which I think the offense their Colts offense showed some good things last week against the Jaguars, but the Ravens have a better offense than the way better offense than the Colts do, and this defense is good. Uh, they had four sacks last week against the Ravens, one interception by Steven Nelson. He's another guy to watch out for in this game against the Colts. Uh, one fumble recovery, so two turnovers on the Ravens offense, and almost three turnovers because Tavier Thomas did force a fumble, but the Ravens were able to recover. I think the Texans had six or seven tackles for loss as well. This Texans defense looked good, good last week, and that was on the road against Baltimore. I think another player that's going to be a big factor in this ball game is Damian Pierce. He was not effective in the run game last week against the Baltimore Ravens, only 38 rushing yards and 11 carries. I think he is someone who's going to have a way better week two performance against this Colts defense. Colts defense is okay. They're not great. They have a good pieces, a couple good pieces like Darius Leonard and DeForest Buckner. But besides that, this is not that, you know, that strong Colts defense that it used to be. They have Butker and they have, you know, Leonard. But besides that, I don't really see a lot of strong pieces of this Colts defense. I think you, if, you know, especially Stroud's out, but even if Stroud is the quarterback, the Texans need to go way more to the run game, not only to Damian Pierce, but to Devin Singletary tomorrow in this ballgame. The Texans need to use the run game way more in week two than they did in week one. Um, you know, play, play, obviously play uh, mistake free football. And I think the Texans should be able to win this game. I had the Texans winning 23 to 20. I don't know how much I have the Texans winning by or losing by if CJ Stroud plays, but I do not think CJ Stroud will miss this game. I think I think you will see CJ Stroud play. I, I that could be and that can end up in a bad situation. Look what happened with Aaron Rodgers. I know that's a different in, injury. Rodgers was a calf injury. This is a shoulder injury. And look how bad of a offensive line Aaron Rodgers had. He got hurt on the fourth play. That's just the kind of stuff I worry about. Like, you know, uh, look at some of some two players I look at is Aaron Rodgers and Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow had a calf. Those are two calf injuries. While well, Stroud is a shoulder injury, but Joe Burrow had a calf injury. And look, look how he looked in Week One. Lucky he didn't get hurt. Aaron Rodgers wasn't a hundred percent on that calf injury. Um, and it looked like it was still bothering him. He tore his Achilles, and you know the Achilles is kind of very. The Achilles is very close to the calf, and Stroud with a terrible offensive line, uh, without three starting offensive linemen, and could be four if Lermy Tunsil does not play tomorrow. Which I said, like I said, I don't see the Houston Texans sending Stroud there, out there tomorrow without Lermy Tunsil. Like I said, if Stroud plays. So does Tunsil. And if Tunsil doesn't play, I think this is going to make the Texans wonder, should we sit C.J. Stroud with not a 100% shoulder? But, I mean, yeah, I, I think Stroud plays. I think Tunsil plays as well. I think those two guys right there might be game-time decisions. But I think they both end up playing, and the Houston Texans win 23-20. to But what happens if they don't play? I'll tell you guys this right now. If, if the Texans are without C.J. Stroud and Lermy Tunsil tomorrow, I don't think the Texans win this game. I think the Colts win. Might be a close game. Uh, defense might hold this to a close one. But if the Texans are without Stroud and Tunsil, 
Uh, I think the Texans definitely start off the season 0-2. Maybe if Stroud doesn't play and, and Mills is the quarterback and Lunsell is Tunsil is out there for the Texans, I could maybe still see the Texans pulling off the win. But without both Tunsil and Stroud, I don't think the Texans really have a shot because you know if Mills is out there in the quarter at a quarterback, you need the run game to get going with Damian Pierce and Devin Singletary. And without Tunsil, that may very well could be hard to do. But um, I mean, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens in, in tomorrow's game. I got the it's I do think Stroud and Tunsil play. I think Stroud has a good game. I think he throws his first touchdown pass in the NFL. Um, and the Texans win twenty three to twenty. But the Texans very well could be screwed without CJ in tomorrow's game. But I think the Texans get their first win of the season. D'Amico gets his first win as a head coach. CJ Stroud gets his first win as a quarterback. And the Texans go off to 1-1. One and one, And the Colts start off 0-2. But that is my prediction. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy them. Your thoughts. And peace out.